Hello, Gerdy here. Today I'd like to talk about what lies beyond the edges of our comfort zones and beyond fear. First, when we when you come to the conclusion that you want to change things about the way you have been living them. You want to start discovering what the what your definition of success is. So to start living towards that kind of success and not whatever the definition of success is that you've grown up with, whether it is in your family, among your friends, at work, the society that you grew, grew up in, you may have come to the conclusion that that kind of success is not your kind of success. But then, what is your kind of success? And when you start figuring that out, when you start questioning the traditional definition of success, you're going to bump into your comfort zone because all of the, to the edges, I must say, of your comfort zone. Because all of a sudden, you let go or you start questioning. That's a better way to put it. You start questioning the explicit and implicit rules that surround that traditional definition of success. And in my experience and in the experience of my clients, when you come up against the edges of your comfort zone, you get this, not surprisingly, uncomfortable feeling. And I've talked to that about that before in previous videos. That uncomfortable feeling, maybe it's just that, maybe it's just di discomfort for you, but for most people, there definitely is an element of fear in there. There's the fear of rejection, the fear of judgment. What will people say? What will people think? Can I even do this? Am I allowed to do this? What will happen to me? Will I be shunned? Will I be declared crazy? I'm sure there's a whole list of things that come into play when we feel that fear, that discomfort settle in our bodies. Now what lies beyond those edges? What lies beyond that fear? relief. I think relief is a really big one, at least it is for me and it is for many of my clients as well. Because when we decide, when you decide to move beyond those edges of your comfort zone, when you take a small step or maybe even be bold and brave and leap over the edges over the boundaries of your comfort zone. What you will find oftentimes is that the story that we were telling ourselves, that you were telling yourself, are much, much worse than what actually happened. Sure, some people will judge you, some people may even declare you crazy. But there's also people who are going to applaud your courage, who are going to tell you, oh, I wish I had the courage to do what you just did. I wish I wasn't so scared of going beyond the edges of my comfort zone. 
And the stories we tell ourselves are all about how horrible it is going to be and how scary it is and how afraid we are. And the more we tell our, ourselves that story, the more the more scary it gets, the more afraid we get. So once we step beyond those boundaries and we move through and beyond our fear and we we experience that it's all not as scary as we thought it would be. That relief that sets in, that calm that washes over you, enables you to not just take that first step, but take next steps as well. Now I'm not saying that that calm will stay. It's a bit like a wave. It comes and goes. You will, there will be times where you question yourself, where you question the wisdom of that decision. And there will be times where you're 1000% sure that what you just did, what you did back there was the absolute right decision. But whatever you do, when you come up against the edges of your comfort zone and you know consciously or at some level that the next step for you is to move beyond that edge you can do three things you can step back step back full into the comfort zone that you've been living in you can stay at that edge and remain uncomfortable and perhaps build a little bit of courage a little bit more courage that will enable you to step over that boundary at some point or you can just step and take that step step across the boundary go beyond your comfort zone the edges of your comfort zone and see what it feels like over there because from personal experience every time I stepped beyond the edges of my comfort zone I when I moved through my fear the overriding feeling emotion I had I experienced afterwards just as that is the case for my clients was relief there was even joy and a bit of pride as well so perhaps you should try this let me know how it goes as always go there greatly bye bye